Okay, we are live on YouTube, folks, and all right, good deal. Mm. I'm going to go ahead. Oh. We got somebody with a lot of noise coming through. That's Jay. All right. Um, it's 6.30. I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Let's establish quorum. Howard Alstor. Tony Beardsley. Kara Riley. It's not a quorum, is it? No, we need one more. This is Mary. Um, our power's out, the elementary, so uh, we can do it from the office. So I'm at this a uh, new hangout I have called an apartment and it's not working here. <laughs> we Is can a see cell coming so that we have a quorum. And we need one more to be able yeah, to vote I, on everything. Yeah, I don't see a cell. She hasn't joined yet. Hmm. Dave? Yeah, I want to see if I can get a hold of either one of them. Hey, Mary. Can you hear Mary? me? Yeah. I have a question while we're hanging out. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Is there a provision in our error mark contract for what happens if we don't end up going back to school? Uh, there, it's not a problem, but um, they just, uh, I mean, if there's no students, they can't work. So, but we don't owe them. We didn't have. So we don't have any them. financial obligation for when students no. are not present. Okay. No. I was just curious. I was reading that and wondering that sure. to myself if we were still paying them, you know, for the right. last three months or not. No. Mm -mm. Okay. They're so, uh, they, they have so much business because they run the big school districts too that, um, and they just, they're there more to help us than anything. Okay. I was just curious if we mm -hmm. had to Good question. do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. And then uh, I heard somebody say the U of A has decided what they're doing, and I'm not aware of what that is. What, what is I haven't doing? heard yet today yeah. either. And we have a, a webinar uh, tomorrow at 1.30 that the two principals and I will be listening to. And after that, we're going to try to craft a plan. And, and um, so we have two meetings that are coming up that are supposed to be advising us. The U of A announced uh, end of last week or beginning of this week, I don't remember what they're doing. They're going to be back in the fall. They're going Good. to limit the number of kids in the classrooms. The professors are going to have opportunity to do virtual as well as having just a certain number of kids in at once, maybe doing the same course several times. Also uh, doing more courses in the evening on sa and Saturdays so they can use larger rooms and have more social distancing and not coming back after Thanksgiving. Also skipping oh. the fall break. Wow. Are they gonna make the students wear masks? I didn't recall seeing that. Okay. I'll try to find out for you tomorrow though and send it to you. Okay, well, whatever. I mean, it's not us and obviously we're gonna do what the state tells us to do, but right. I was just curious if they were doing reasonable things or sure. not. We're kind of on a wait and see notice because the uh, amount of uh, cases has gone up in our area. So um, if it keeps going up, that will really hurt us. Yeah, it's really not good. The COVID uh -huh. unit is full. Uh -huh. Hey, Tony. Yeah. When you, you said not go back after the Thanksgiving break. Yeah. Go what do is virtual. That? After Thanksgiving oh, okay. break. I was going to say, because I, I just had three options of teaching at NWAC this next semester, and 
it was too much of a hassle to do any of the others besides teaching remotely. So all my stuff is going to be done virtually. Right. Yep. Hey, I want to wish you the best next week when you have your surgery, Tony. I mean, uh, Howard. I thank you. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and I I'm sorry you have to go I mean that. it sincerely. <laughs> There's been a couple of times where I thought I was. Well, you fall. want me to see if we can reschedule this like tomorrow night or the next night with the David's other David's trying to get on right now. He's just having issues. Okay. Hey, Mary. Hi, David. Hi. Could um, could I let the board know about um, Harry? Yes, I was going to, but I'd much rather you do it. I did talk to her today, so okay. you go ahead. Okay, um, Coach Perry, our um, our track coach, cross country. Uh, her husband drowned um, Sunday morning in a lake in Bella Vista. Hmm. He was swimming with um, his two daughters. One is one just graduated from Bentonville. The other said so he uh, will be a sophomore at Oklahoma City University. And they were swimming um, Sunday morning, um, and the girls saw their dad swimming towards the dock. He was about 20 feet from the dock. He went under and did not come back up. Um, they recovered his body about four hours later, and they'll do an autopsy, um, but their first thoughts are that he, it was a heart attack. Um, heart I condition. think they confirmed that, David, and okay. his service will be Friday. Okay. Thank, thank you for the update. Uh, we've been checking, mm -hmm. uh, I know. But I was gonna call you after the meeting. I just found out, I just had talked to her. Should we send flowers or, or something? Well, I think uh, one of the boys um, uh, on the cross country team is, put, uh, is uh, Matt, if you're listening, setting up a GoFundMe uh, page, I think. Is yes. that right, Matt? David? Yes, they are, but, but I think it would be a good. Um, oh, yeah, the school will send flowers. For the, for the board to send flowers. Yeah. Yes. I'll get the information. I'll just take care of it for you. It's a tough time for the family. They don't have a lot of family here local. Uh, a lot of their family uh, on both sides in, is in um, Georgia, North Carolina, New York, Utah, and California. So it's um, tough time with everything going on. Yeah. The um, it's hard to travel. Her brother, her brother-in-law, came in um, yesterday. But uh, it's just uh, really hard leaving um, five children, um, four there with Perry and a, um, he had a daughter uh, previously, so that's older, but uh, it's, it's been hard. Man. So just keep them in your thoughts and prayers. All right, going back to roll call. Mr. Russell? Yes, I'm here, thank you. Sorry, I was having calling. some troubles getting on. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies. I was having some troubles getting on. All right. So we have, we have quorum at this point, correct? Yep. All right. Good deal. Uh, comments from the public? No. No comments from the public. Has everybody had a chance to review the consent agenda? Yes. 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 Any comments, questions, concerns? With that, nothing said, I'll entertain a motion to accept the consent agenda as is. So moved. I have second. A first, I have a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Ayes have it, motion carries. On to new business, principal reports. Heather, you on? Yes, I'll go first. 
We need to do rock, paper, scissors on Matt and I. <laughs> anyway, um, so we just finished our first virtual Christmas ceremony ever. Hopefully it's our last. If I have to do it again next year, it'll definitely be different because it's a whole lot of work. Um, we had 59 students um, who graduated from Arkansas Arts Academy, so that doesn't include our exchange students as we offer them a certificate of completion for the, the year that they were here, but not a diploma. Uh, of those, 42 have confirmed that they're going to a post-secondary institution next year. That's 71 percent. Um, and then 21 of those are headed to a career in a creative major um, or so art or music or culinary or something, fashion design. Um, so that's 36% of our kids who are going on to do creative things in the world. We're finishing up classes this week and collecting Chromebooks and other school um, owned materials and putting them in the commons so that they can be left alone for two weeks and then they'll be completely sanitized by our school nurses. Uh, orchestra had a virtual awards banquet yesterday evening for students and families and gave out awards for the year. Um, our senior art showcase is a slideshow this year. It's posted on the website and the senior dance solos are also posted on our website. And then I am currently finalizing schedules for next year. So we're at the, the end of the year. That's all I have for your questions. So are you preparing for a virtual next year? For virtual instruction, at least part of the time. Yeah. Um, you know, that's one of the options that we're going to look at is blended learning. And then for any family that wants to do virtual, um, we'll allow that to have, I mean, we're going to offer that. Um, so, but hopefully by the time May comes around, <laughs> it'll be a vaccine and we'll be allowed to be in school like normal. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Heather. You're welcome. Matt? Okay. Uh, it's been an interesting end of the year, to say the least. Uh, but, you know, our kids are still going at it. And uh, tomorrow we get to have our first virtual field day. Uh, so feel free to go on the K6 website and see all the activities you can do at home and uh, take pictures of your kids. I can tell you I did the uh, clothing Relay today. I think I made it under a minute. Um, if not, <laughs> I get extra time. So we're just going <laughs> to go with that. Uh, so there'll be all kinds of about 20 fun activities that different staff members have modeled for the kids to do at home and take pictures of. Uh, you know, we can't simulate the uh, fire truck coming, uh, but we can still have fun together with the kids. So we look forward to that. Um, then on the next day, on Thursday, we have our first virtual sixth grade graduation uh, where we'll be Zooming with the kids. Uh, that's also where we announce our Da Vinci Award winner. Uh, da Vinci hmm. Award winner is the sixth grader that exemplifies, you know, Da Vinci, the great art of Da Vinci, the great mind of Da Vinci, the creativity of Da Vinci. So I would say I can tell you now, but I can't. So you will have to tune in at 10 o'clock on Thursday if you want to hear that young person's name uh, and they get their name on a spot and a plaque in our office. And then we look forward to seeing the great things they'll do at the high school. Uh, I can tell you the sixth graders are excited to get to the high school. Uh, they definitely want this virtual thing to be gone uh, from, from reasons that are great to, you know, some of the great art classes that are off the high school to reasons such as um, what is offered in the cafeteria. Uh, and different things to make different people passionate. So, uh, but the kids are excited about coming over there. Um, on Friday, we have uh, a drive-through graduation for our kindergartners. Um, so we'll do a class every 30 minutes and the kids will drive through and we'll announce their name. And so that's gonna be exciting. I've never done a drive-through graduation before. So uh, that will be something new. And then at the end of that day will be our uh, drive through end of year celebration from two to four. So feel free if you'd like to come and park and wave at people and yell by, you are all invited to come do that. Uh, our last Rise and Shine video will also be coming out this Friday uh, where we celebrate our last terrific kids of the month. 
so that's always been exciting. I've, I don't think I've ever screamed so many times in Tanaka. <laughs> I have is preparing those videos. Uh, so that's exciting. Uh, also want to tell you that uh, I know you asked Heather about are we preparing for virtual learning? Uh, you know, we have been meeting David, Heather, and Rachel and I have been meeting on a regular basis now just to try to wrap our heads around it. And uh, we've got to experience webinars and we get to experience more webinars and there's more webinars. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're coming up with a plan as, as well as we can, but uh, you know, there's so many questions out there right now. Uh, I also want to brag on our nurse, Katie. Uh, she has came up with a list of items to help keep us safe. Uh, keep the kids safe, keep the staff safe. So that's exciting. Um, so, you know, that's something we're going to be going over soon. And also just the work the teachers have been doing. This has not been an easy time for the kids at all. Um, you know, when we, when we have people come to this K-6 campus, one of the things we always say is don't come here if you don't want your kid to be hugged. And, uh, you know, I might have to think of something else to say because we won't be saying that for a while. But, um, our teachers have really reached out to their kids and I've heard the same thing about the 712 teachers and just the way the staff and the families have supported each other during this has been amazing. Uh, Cause this could be something that could really break you down uh, this environment, but it, it hasn't happened here. So we appreciate that. And then tomorrow morning, uh, Mr. Jones is going to come meet with us and start working on the plan for arts integration for next year. And, um, uh, lay out some exciting things there. So we're exciting about, excited about all these things that are happening and uh, look forward to a great year next year. Yeah, I know Mr. Skelton has his report that y'all requested for the uh, athletics department. Hey, good evening. Um, we have had two very productive meetings um, Again, there's Zoom meetings, but uh, a lot of good conversation, um, talking about communication, uh, transparency. Um, it's, that is the concern and uh, we want to address it. Um, and, and we are, uh, we have talked about our mission statement and aligning it with the mission of the district. We're, we're talking also about character ed programs did we just lose David? Seems that way. Let's well, let's go on until we get him back. Okay, uh, updated 2021, 2020-21 calendar. Uh, yes, after uh, reviewing the calendar, we found that we needed to um, add a day and uh, we just need you to approve it. So to meet state standards. So is it an additional, additional instruction day? Is yes, sir. Okay. That's the only addition, Mary? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to accept the amendment to the 2020-2021 school calendar. So moved. Second. I have a first and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Ayes have it, motion carries. Uh, student services manager. Uh, yes, that's a, a just showing you the, I think you have to prove this position. Uh, Matt just can't continue to be principal and special ed. So okay. the person that was supposed to be his assistant has retired. And uh, we just thought this was a good time to transform it into, um, we don't want a, a director because we wouldn't be able to get a director for the cost for one thing. But we want somebody to do all the paperwork. And after our, um, 
you know, every five years you get assessed and we just had our assessment and it went really well. And that's a big thank you to Matt, by the way, and, and Heather. And, um, but they need, they need to do their job and focus on our curriculum. And so that position just needs to be approved. And um, we already do kind of have it posted, but that's the description of the job. What's, what's the salary range for the position? Uh, it's around, uh, Matt, didn't we decide around 55, 60? It'll actually be depending on the expertise, how many years they've taught. And then uh -huh. it's a range from five to 15% on that. Right. Okay. But I think it'll fall around that area. Okay. And that fits within our budget. Yes. We already got approval from APSRC before we even posted this on, I mean, for you to see or posted it. Okay. I'll entertain a motion. I'll uh, motion to uh, advertise the job. Okay, second. Bill it. <laughs> All right, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Ayes have it, motion carries. Uh, special education application and budget approval. Do we want to let Dave finish his thing first? Oh, Dave, you back? <laughs> yes, I'm back. I'm on my iPhone. Uh, okay. not, not sure what happened, but I went from the beach to San Francisco. <laughs> you noticed. <laughs> you noticed. Uh, okay, I'm going to buzz on through this. Uh, we have talked a lot about uh, funding. Uh, that was a, um, a concern um, with the board um, using um, state funds. Um, I, I did speak with a, our APSRC, and over the past two years, our school district has not used any state funds for athletics. Um, that's a code that they have to uh, use. And uh, just wanted to let you know that we have used activity funds, but those are funds that are raised by the uh, by the athletes. Uh, and with that in mind, we are working with the Diamond Booster Club so that all of the funds will process through the club. Um, we're setting up um, all of the paperwork to have a. Is it a 503, I think, um, right. account? Um, 503C. So any, 503C, I knew it was a letter there. So we'll, uh, we'll work, uh, continue to work with Arvest um, to set those accounts up. Um, and we're planning to meet again, June the 23rd. Um, I was able to meet with the 712 art staff on a Zoom meeting. Uh, it was uh, Ms. Carpenter invited me to participate and I thought it was went great. Um, I think their concerns was kind of like everyone's concern. It's just a breakdown in, in communication and being transparent. Um, so we talked about that. We've talked about uh, um, have some of the performers to come over and perform either before the games or at halftime. Um, and we have a commitment from um, the staff to, um, to support, you know, to promote their programs um, at games and events uh, of the athlete. So, uh, but anyway, a uh, great conversation, making good progress. And again, uh, board just appreciate your, uh, your support in this. Um, and I will um, be back in, uh, be back in July to uh, bring you up to date. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. All right, special, uh, special education budget approval. Yes, that's just all the paperwork we have to do with the federal, because it's federal funding. 
and it's something we do every year. So that's, there's lots of documentation you have in here about that. We just need your approval to apply, you know, like we do every year for special ed funding. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve the special education application and budget approval. So moved. Second. I have a first and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Ayes have it, motion carries. Uh, Jamie Dale, High School Student Council to attend school board meetings. Yes, are you available, Jamie? Yes, I'm here, Mary. Okay, go for it. I've kind of shared with Mary and Miss Wright a little bit and Dr. Riley a little bit of what um, I'm wanting to do. In the past, Student Council has attended school board meetings that kind of lapsed last year and they didn't attend last year. Um, I'm the high school student council sponsor. But when they attended in the past, they just sat and observed. And I think it would be great to get them involved. Um, but I would like to do that on a more engaged level. And that's kind of why I bring this to the board is to ask what that would look like. Because of um, our current situation, I haven't elected a student council for next year. So it would be great to have those things, responsibilities in, in place and I can share that with them before they decide to campaign. Um, I think it would be great for the student council to be able to share with you guys. I don't know how often or what you would want them to share, but that to share about school climate or specific issues that came up. Um, I know a couple of meetings this year at the school board, it would have been probably nice to have some student input on particular culture items. Um, but I'd also like for you guys to give them some sort of tasks, you know, the most meaningful school change from a student culture or climate perspective is, is most effective when it comes from the students themselves. So I just wanna facilitate making that happen, making student council be there and then have them be engaged and be a, a um, two-way street where they can share with you guys, where you can give them things to do. But I didn't know exactly what that would look like or how to flesh it out. Right. I think it's a great idea, you know, to have an engagement with the students and maybe we do something and I'm just speaking off the cuff here. Maybe we do something where they do a report like the principal report, uh, something like that, uh, you know, be a non-voting member of the board to a certain extent. Like I said, I'm, I'm talking off the cuff here, uh, you know, because I think getting that input is would be very beneficial. Mm -hmm. And then also them seeing what we do. So yeah. that can be you know, communicated back to the other students that, you know, that this is what happened. This is what's going on. I think it's great. I think we do need to flesh it out a little bit more, but I think something like a report, maybe every other board meeting, uh, just about what's going on at the school, what's important to them, um, you know, and then just being, being there for us to bounce questions off of too. That sounds great. I, I agree with Dave. I was actually going to make those exact, um, suggestions you know I, I i think a, a five minute student concern report uh with each board meeting would be great mm -hmm. and then you know with your request that we task them with things to do i think those tasks would probably present themselves naturally after they gave the report of their concerns you know and it could become a, a back and forth endeavor of um you know them telling us what they think we need to work on and um you know, us telling them what we need to know and what we, how they, we feel they can contribute. So I, I pretty much what Dave said, I, I'd probably make it every meeting to be honest, because a whole lot can happen in 60 days. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Do we need to propose that in some fashion to make that happen? Or can we just say that we want it to happen? I think this is one of those things we can just say we want it to happen. Okay. It's really not policy. It's just engaging the students. Just engagement. Instead of them making them sign in on the speaker time, allow them to have their own slot like the principals do. Yep. Okay. All right. 2020-2021 uh, Aramar con contract. Is 
Did I lose somebody? Mary, you're muted. Mary, you're, you're muted. I mean, now can you hear me? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I just want uh, Dr. Riley to know before we had Airmark, uh, we would be sixty, seventy thousand dollars in the hole for uh, food services, and since we've had Airmark, we've actually made a little more profit than the state wants us to. So it, it has, uh, it's just wonderful. <laughs> So anyway, we just every year have to uh, say we approve of them to do our food services. All right, with that said, I'll entertain a motion to accept the current contract with Aramark. I'll make a motion to accept the current contract. Need a second? second. Tony, second. Any further uh, questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, all those opposed say nay. Ayes have it. Motion carries. All right, board member qualifications. Yeah, the only thing I added different, I took the policy we already had and I added that last sentence that says, no person elected to the school board during his or her tenure on the board may be married to anyone who serves in an administrative position at Arkansas Arts Academy. So, yeah. Okay, I, I, uh, my first question is, being as close as we are to certain borders, um, does, does a board member have to be a qualified elector for the state of Arkansas? Well, that it's always been in our policy. That's been in our policy for years, but we can take it out. Well, I have a question about that then is, do we actually let kids from out of state? I mean, I no. guess, right. So if you have to be either a parent or a former parent, I guess right. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you're gonna live in Arkansas. Yeah. Or if you've moved out of Arkansas, do you really want to be involved in the workings of the school? So, um, so yeah. So eliminate that sentence. I don't have a problem with the sentence. No, I think I, I, think I mean I don't. It's my opinion. What do you say, Tony? I think we should leave it in there that that you must okay. be qualified to you know be in Arkansas. You must be in Arkansas. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean to be qualified to be in Arkansas? <laughs> oh, I interrupted myself. That's a low bar, Tony. Low bar. <laughs> we are in Arkansas, you know. There's certain qualifications. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so are we good with that? Yep. Yep. I'll make yeah. a motion yeah, to uh, make a motion to accept it like it is. Second. Oh, first, uh, second, any further discussion? All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Ayes have it, motion carries. All right, guys, the next one, the bullying policy. So the next is the bullying policy, and it's just a lot more detailed than our our bullying policy that we have now. Um, I reviewed it with my 10th grader and she thought it was uh -huh. great. Um, great. I also think it's great. The only thing that, and this may not be something that needs to be in a bullying policy okay. format, but I still, still feel like the language is slightly unclear about what constitutes uh, various types of offenses that you know qualify you for suspension and expulsion, and that may well, be actually a different piece of paper than what we're discussing. It could be a point. different one, and that's a difficult one. You are so right, and I wanted to put that in there so bad. It's just that every incident is unique, and there's just not uh, if we put a a. a the discipline real specific, it may not be justifiable because it's not a one size fits all thing. So we can try to attempt it though. I don't disagree with you, 
but uh, it's just difficult. <laughs> so, well, I don't know that it needs to keep us from adopting this, but right. maybe I uh, will investigate it though. You know, maybe in the future, spend some time creating a separate document okay. that is, you know, specifications for suspension and expulsion. Okay. Because, you know, we, we, we modified that. that one phrase at the beginning of the year, which was a good move. But I still uh -huh. feel like when I read it, it's extremely nebulous about right. what what qualifies you, I think, other than drugs. But okay. when it comes down to incidences of bullying, right. um, you know, how, how many strikes do you get before you get suspended, expo you know, expulsed? Okay, exposed. I can do that. And I will write to the attorneys at APSR to see tomorrow and see if they can advise me on that. So okay. I have a question for Matt and Heather. Do you feel like it ought to be kind of flexible with the different situations? Are you agreeing with Mary that it's there's no black and white, cut and dry? Matt, do you well, want to go first? I guess I'll go first. I mean, I think it, there's definitely some things you got to take in consideration. For example, dealing with a kindergartner and dealing with a senior in high school, those are totally different situations. Right. Um, so, you know, I don't think we can definitely make a, a clear K6, 7, 12, because those ages are so different, and the way we expect those kids to behave are very different. Sure. Hey, so we, um, we, there, sorry, Heather, one question. So, yeah. before you, you talk, but we still believe that bullying is not tolerated. Oh, yeah. Correct. Right. Okay. Correct. And, it's just, and it's just a matter of defining what that is, is like that three days five days kick out of school the response. you know that's yeah okay yeah right, i think sorry. it's defining the response i like the do the document that you guys put forward i think yes does a definitely. really nice job of defining bullying uh -huh. and what's a bullying offense what i you know what i feel like we need to work on is the consequences part right of of the piece right. okay so we'll work yeah, on I, that for sure yeah. What do you say, Heather? Go ahead. Well, I just think the more, because Rachel's going to do most of that discipline stuff on my campus, um, and the more clear cut guidance she can have, the better. Um, right. That's true. She's really good at tracking data and all of that kind of stuff. So right. once she's gotten to that point, she can just be like, okay, this is your third offense. This is the consequence for right. that. Okay. Um, well, we meet tomorrow. We can, uh, I'll write to APSRC and we can talk about at our meeting tomorrow. Okay. So, okay. Thank you. Good, good point. Thank you. So do we want to accept this as is and then modify it or how do or we add want to the other it? piece? Yeah. Or just add know. a part to the handbook maybe yep. at next month or the following month before school starts. Sure. Yep. Right. Okay. All right. Then okay. I'll... So I'll move to accept the new bullying policy. Okay. Who seconded it? I did. All right. Have Dave. a first and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Ayes have it. Motion carries. I'm going to mute myself because my dogs are freaking out. <laughs> uh, are we at other? Okay, discussion of items since publication. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'm going to try to show it. Do you see this? So we had. David, two beautiful plaques made, one for you and one for Estelle. And we want to thank you for serving on our school board and in honor for serving on the Arkansas, David Russell for serving on the Arkansas Arts Academy School Board. Thank you for driving the mission of Arkansas Arts Academy to become the ultimate K-12 choice for excellence in arts and academics. You have aspired to achieve advanced our schools, June, 2020. So we'll be mailing these to you but we want to thank you verbally tonight for all you've done. And um, there's just not words to express it. David, you've been with us for a really long time and yeah, you've been, been present. And, and I really am grateful for all you've done. Thank you, David. Yeah. I wanted to uh, say thank you to all of you. It's been an honor and a pleasure serving with you. No, thank you, we, David. Yeah, we've and, enjoyed working with you, David, very much. You're going to be missed. He will be. I appreciate that, Tony. And then one other thing is I talked to the Arkansas School Board Association and they said for the next meeting, if we want to, we could have 10 people in a room as long as um, we sit 
not real close together. And uh, then we could live stream the rest to everybody else. Or if we have more people than Tim that need to say something, we could uh, bring them in through technology, but we'll have a new board meeting, uh, a new board member. So it'll be seven board members, two principals and myself would be 10. And then we could, um, uh, like I said, uh, bring other people in if we need it. And I didn't know if you wanted to do that next board meeting. So it might be nice with new board members to start out kind of in a physical setting. So that's what I'm asking you right now. Okay. Um, Mary, I, if that's going to happen, I'll still be there virtually. I was a nurse in my office diagnosed with COVID today. Okay. Well, I, it doesn't matter to me. I just wanted to check with ASBA when you could, we could even get back because I hadn't heard. So um, that's what they told me. So I, it doesn't matter to me. I would probably have to be virtual well, also simply because my wife is immune compromised and I just can't take that chance. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm way I'm well, way too high risk for the rest of you because my husband's at the hospital every day. Yeah. Yeah. So well, let's just keep I'm it the way it is, for, and I don't yeah. want you to be in a different role. So just hey, want to Mary, share. Just a quick thought. Uh, uh -huh. Make sure that you you have the folks take me off of the bank account. Yes, I will. Yeah. Okay. I'll I never got taken office. off when when Anthony was the right. Well, I knew you were going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll we'll change it after the next board meeting when the new person's elected, if that's okay with you. Oh, that's fine with me. Okay. And that's all I have. All, all right. right. I um, I don't have anything else other than we need to go into an executive session. Howard, okay. what I'm going to do then, if you don't mind, I'm going to make you the host so everyone we can drop off everyone but the board. Okay, do I need to do anything as far as a host is concerned? No, um, but I'll stop the recordings and live stream. Um, are we coming back after or? Well, well I have they to have to. No, I have uh, to come. no, I would just, just let him. Uh, he'll, he will have to come back afterwards, but the, the rest just to say adjourn. Okay. If there's anything that happens that requires a vote, we have to do that in right. live session. So that's true. Do you need me to get off or you want me to stay on? No, I need you to stay on. Okay. How about myself? Um, the because if we have to adjourn and still be live and recording, I think I'd need to be there in the way we do this. Do I is there a way for me to restart the recording? Uh, actually, I think you, uh, no, you couldn't. I'm sorry. I'm logged in as me. Uh, well, just don't listen for a few minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my headphones off and everything. <laughs> yeah. I Howard will wave at you when we're ready to come back. Yeah. All right. I'll keep an eye on it. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm going to uh, stop recordings and stop the live stream.